Makeup is a very dear hobby of mine. In fact, my very first YouTube video happened to be a makeup video. Makeup has always been a way for me to express my feelings, my mood, my femininity, and sometimes a way to escape reality, quite frankly. Anyway, for today's video, I decided to recreate a makeup look that I did back when I was 10. In the year 2004, I found this picture not too long ago and I wasn't sure how to handle the cringe, so I guess this video is kind of my confused way of coping with it. And yes, my mom wanted me to get a perm at age 10. This was around the time my two front teeth were still fighting and wouldn't talk to each other. The time my blending game was so strong it scared off all of my friends and they wouldn't hit me up for weeks. Plus my eyebrow looks like a caterpillar who just ran a marathon and died. I remember any time I would put makeup on my mom would say I look like a cheap prostitute and I would get super offended by it. I mean I wouldn't get offended anymore now that I actually am a cheap prostitute. Anyway, let's get on with the makeup. Okay, so a lot of you guys are probably like, why do you look like a lesbian serial killer? Well, that's because I came prepared. I could not show these in broad daylight because they look so awful, but I put these braids in yesterday after my shower and left them on overnight so I would get some type of a permy curl action going for the video because in the picture I have my perm, so I'm just trying to emulate that as close as possible. I also finished my base already and put my brows on, so now we just need to do the actual look. I have to freestyle a little to get the colors as close as possible to the OG because I do not have a lipstick in that color. I wonder why. Okay, so in the original picture, I think I only had one eyeshadow on. Obviously, that's you only used one eyeshadow back in the 2000s. All right, so first off, I'm gonna be applying a transition color um, right above the crease, and it's going to be Safe Word by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm popping that right on, right above the crease, kind of blending into my natural skin tone. Like, this is fine by, like, this is me nowadays. Like, this is enough makeup for me. I like the way this looks. But today, we're going further, and we're gonna go past all the limits and the social expectations. After the transition color, I'm gonna go in with Sway by Huda Beauty. And I'm gonna put it right under that and kind of get in the crease with it as well. So step by step, we're moving from the warm tones to the very cool tones and into the very silvers and grays. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with Black Truffle by Huda Beauty and start to slowly darken the outer and inner corners. clean blending brush and buffing out the very outer edges. I really love doing halo eyes, but somehow I always get nervous when you have to do the inner corner. I don't know why, but I just get queasy. <laughs> so just the very inner corner. Be careful not to take it too far into the center, because then it'll lose its halo effect. Okay, that's looking cute. That's actually looking cute. What the f Now we have both of these on, and I'm going to move on to highlighting the very center to accentuate the halo effect or create the halo effect, essentially. For the center, I'm going in with Revolt by Urban Decay from their electric palette. The silver is gonna have a crazy amount of fallout, so I am just going to spray some setting spray on my finger, I know this is so ghetto, and then tap it into the color. Zero fallout, my friend. Typically when doing a halo eye, I don't like taking the shimmery eyeshadow into the dark matte side, but um, the original picture that I'm referring to today, the shimmer was kind of everywhere. So I'm softly bringing the shimmer into the matte parts as well. Mm. And now I'm just connecting the lower and the upper lid with the color Sway by Huda. Might need to work in just a little bit of black at the very root to really make them blend together. Right. This looks terrible now, but I promise it looks nice in real life. This look ended up being way more dramatic than I thought it would, but hey, let's make it even more dramatic, cause you know, what the heck. For my lashes, I'm doing these Tarte lashes. I forgot what they're called, maybe Flirty or something? I'll be adding mascara. <gasps> no! Now, before adding mascara on the fake lashes, I'm gonna be going under um, here on the lower lash line and drawing just a couple dots. And now, just applying mascara. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're almost done with the eyes and I am actually really liking how this looks. So I'm just gonna bring you up close so you can see what's happening here. I feel like I could still bring the center out a little bit with maybe like a highlighter or something. I have a couple mascara specs right here. So to highlight the center, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the color Forever Lit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The eyes are officially done. And for my actual highlight, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nicole Guerriero. 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 Palette. Wow. Okay, so everything else is done, but now we need to do the lips. And I'm super afraid of the lips because when you look at the picture, I don't know if I can pull that off. Honestly, it would just ruin the whole look because I actually like this eye look that I got going. Well, it's a recreation, so uh, let's do it. Okay, so the closest thing I could find to pink lip liner is this tiny, tartiest tester um, lip liner in the color Mood Ring. So I'm gonna try to pop that on and see what we can do about the actual lip color. I'm gonna try to blend the edges out so I can apply the lip color on top. I'm not sure what's happening with the lips, but we're gonna try our best. Now that we only have lips left, I'm gonna be reaching out for my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. The saver of the day. The only way we're ever gonna get that same obnoxious, shimmery pink color onto our lips. Like, I don't know what I was thinking because look at this color that I just made versus the lip liner. It's gonna be a challenge, but hey, I like challenges. I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of yellow into the color. Gonna mix that right in and see if it gets better. Oh yeah. Oh yes, much better, much better. I'm gonna be using this. Oh, I really hate this lip color. Oh my goodness, it does not flatter me at all. Okay, so I had to go off camera and fix the lip situation because it was um, it was bad. For the center, I'm gonna be using Stila's Putty Highlighter in the shade Transcendence. Now just taking that onto my finger and. Going like that. Honestly, now that I think about it, this look is so over the top. I would never wear this in public. I'm joking, I wear anything in public. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. That's the good stuff. Now I'm going back with a darker lip color to kind of carve that lip out. Oh my god, I hate this. Yes, I think the lips are done now. I mean, not done. I'm still gonna be adding a gloss, but I think the color is there. There we go. All right, finishing touches for the makeup. There we go. And I also like to go over with a beauty blender after using setting spray, because I feel like it really locks and melts everything in together. Hey, I think the makeup is done. <laughs> Yay, I look like a drag queen. Sweet, anyway, let's do our last little poses. It's like when you compare the two, it's like, she went downhill. So how different are these two people, hmm? Bad decisions, good decisions. No pinworms, pinworms, fat? Not fat. The pinworms ate it all. I honestly look like someone I would never want to meet. This was an awesome challenge, and uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive to see how far I've gotten in the craft of makeup. Thank you so much for watching, and please follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook.